All right, what we have here is a really cool wood fern. This is the intermediate wood fern, or Dryopteris intermedia. Dryopteris intermedia. It's hunters around us, uh, and I forgot to wear orange, which was really silly of me. So, um, first off, quick, quick botanical term terminology that we're going to use. So, again, in ferns, this is a leaf. We call it a frond. We call it a frond. Um, this whole thing's the frond. This stem is what we call the stipe. And each one of these is a pinna or pinnae collectively. Pinna or pinnae. And then each one of these off of it, each one of these off of the pinna is a pinule. It's a pinule. Um, in, in Dryopteris intermedia, a couple things we're going to look at. First off, this is very confusing uh, when you're looking at it at its um, kind of daughter species, actually. This is, a, this is diploid. Um, and one of its, uh, is it an allo tetraploid um, daughter species is a uh, Dryopteris cartsuniana, cartsuniana, the spinulose wood fern. Um, looks similar to this and is a little more common here in Indiana. But one of the differences is on these, this lowest one, and this is, this is a terrible example here because this one actually doesn't, it doesn't always work as we can see here. Let's pick one that actually works so I can, so if you can see this bottom, this bottom pinule is equal to or shorter, if you can see this, it's equal to, this one here is equal to or shorter than the second one up equal to or shorter than the second one up. And it's about the same size, maybe a little shorter here. But as we've seen with the other one that I just, that I just held up, it doesn't always hold. Usually it does, but not always. Um, so what you look at is you have to look really close and you're not gonna see it here. You gotta use your hand lens. And then you gotta look and see these tiny, tiny hairs, tiny, tiny hairs, the rachis, um, on the, the pinna's stamp stalk here and you're going to see these hairs some of them have these little gland tips so they're little lollipops and they are tiny they're very tiny so i can't see it with my naked eye at all if you have really good eagle eyes you might be able to but i can't and then um like cartsuniana this is dryopteris intermedia again uh these pinules are going to be further dissected in a little and each one of these teeth is going to have a little bristle on it a little bristle on it each one of these teeth has this little teeny, not really, it is kind of a bristle. It's a bristle. I'll call it a bristle. Um, so if you look at, this grows in kind of a, a it's an it's a intermediate size too. It's not as big as something like Goldie's fern, uh, wood fern. Um, it's, it's really a, a gorgeous lacy. It's got a very lacy look to it. Uh, it doesn't, as it, you can see how it, it ta tapers up to the tip, the frond does but it, it kind of ends here. So it doesn't taper down like something like the New York fern would do. It just kind of cuts off here. And you can see these scales, these scales that are on the, on the stipe. Um, these kind of hairy, these scales. Uh, it's not really hairy. Well, the, with the glandular hairs, but these are the scales. So this is an evergreen. Um, it's monomorphic. Monomorphic means that the sterile fronds and the fertile fronds look exactly alike. The sterile fronds and the fertile fronds look alike. So here we can see, sorry, I'm gonna pick off one more because I can't find where I put the other one. Um, you're gonna see the sori on it and it looks exactly like the sterile ones here. Can you see that there? I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, so there's a nice line of sori that is kind of, kind of lines up right in the middle between the midrib and the edge, pretty much in the middle of the midrib and the edge. Um, anything else? It's monomorphic. Oh, so dimorphic. If you think about like um, cinnamon fern, where you have you have these these leaves and then this 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 uh, sterile frond or this fertile frond coming out the middle that looks very different. That's mo that's dimorphic. So two different looks. Dimorphic this is monomorphic. Um, I think that's it. So Dryopteris or intermedia, Dryopteris intermedia, really cool fern.